What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another video. This is a super special video like usual, but today is a little different. We're gonna be reviewing a temperature humidity controller and I'm gonna be giving a whole bunch of them away. So everybody knows I like Inkbird and this is the Inkbird's temperature humidity Wi-Fi controller, the IBS T3 Plus Wi-Fi. This guy right here looks like this outside of the box. I'm gonna do a full product review and we're gonna do a giveaway of five of these controllers. I have 10 in front of me, I'm gonna put five into use and I wanna give back and that's why these guys are going to you. We're gonna dive into the details of how to get one of these shipped to you for free of no charge, but first let's do a review of the controller itself. Let's take a simple look at the box itself. This is the little box it comes in, perfect little package, easy to open, cut twice on the sides and you're in the box. When you open the box up, the first thing that you're gonna notice is this little instructions card. It is not actual instructions, you have to scan the code on the back. This code will bring you to their website where you can see a tutorial video or you can download the manual instructions. Then let's get to the exciting part, the actual controller. Now this controller is one that I have opened, I've pulled the battery tab, and I wanted to just get assimilated with it before I dive into a review video for you. I've been letting this run in my room for about a week. The thing has run perfectly. It also comes with this little charging cord. It doesn't come with this brick. You need one of your own, but it's a USB-C charging cord. The battery is rechargeable, which is excellent, so you don't need to constantly be replacing the little cube batteries inside. This guy, I can't tell you how long it will last on a battery charge, as I've only had it open for about a week, but as you can see, my room is 85 degrees and 79% humidity. It is hot in here. If I'm sweating, that's why. But it's very cool to have one of these guys to tell me exactly what I'm looking at. Out of the box, you're gonna get this controller and it's gonna have a little sticky tab in it. You pull the little sticky tab off and that will then set the battery. These things are all Wi-Fi controlled through the app that's on your phone. You download the Inkbird app and you connect it to this thing right here. It will then take a minute to process and link right up to the app. Through the app, the first thing that I thought was pretty cool is you can set high-low alarms for both your temperature and humidity. To us as snake breeders and keepers, this is super important. I have one of these now in my incubator boxes and I can tell exactly where my temperature is and where my humidity is. In addition to letting you set these alarms, it will give you notifications on your phone. So as a backup to our thermostat, which can fail, it's always nice to have something like this that tells you exactly where you stand. Immediately gives me a notification on my phone as soon as my temperatures go above or below my set range. Same thing with humidity. The temperature range on this guy, I believe, is somewhere between 32 to 120 something degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity goes from zero to 100. So perfect for what we're trying to do as reptile keepers. The app on the phone looks like this guy right here. I have two things set to my app right now. I have my ITC 308 thermostat, which you guys all know I love those. I haven't set my other thermostats up onto this new app. It is a new app that I've found. And then you have your temperature humidity controller. As you can see right now, my temperature humidity is 86 degrees and 69.9% humidity. Now, I did notice that these take a minute to update. So my app, you can set the update time on how quickly or how often you want it to take readings. Right now, mine is set to take a reading every 10 minutes. I previously was exploring this in other areas of my home and I had this upstairs in my kitchen. So you can see the previous temperatures are lower. I've recently moved it into my reptile room and I was bringing this up and down throughout the past few days and throughout the past week. My humidity has gone all over the place as a result of it, but it's really cool that every 10 minutes or every 15, whatever you want to set it to, you can get to that setting and you can keep it logged and tracked, know exactly where your reptiles are. This is the temperature and humidity alarm that I was talking about. You have 70 degrees as my low, 99 as my high. Then my humidity, I have 30 to 90% humidity. I have my logging interval at every 10 minutes. And then you can do a temperature calibration. Now when I first opened this controller out of the box, I thought I needed to use that calibration. But in reality, I said, let me just get this thing to sit there for a little bit and see what happened. It said that my upstairs home temperature was about 86 degrees. And I can't remember humidity, but I noticed that the temperature was way off. If you give this a moment to sit in the room, it'll acclimate to your conditions, and within about a half hour to an hour, it will be at exactly where it should be. These are not instantaneous monitors from what I have found. It does take them maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get to the room conditions. So as I mentioned, I just brought this one down from my house, my upstairs, about 20 minutes ago, and it's really right where it is. So now it's 87 and 67% humidity, 
I notice this is the little gauge on the side that takes that. So if I put my finger on this, it will clog up and it won't get accurate readings. You wanna keep this thing kind of on some place where this is not getting interfered with. I'm gonna start putting these things on my racks so I can tell exactly where my room is at, exactly what my humidity is. And again, super important, specifically as we change our seasons with breeding reptiles, as we reduce the humidity, raise the humidity, this is gonna tell me exactly where I stand. Very useful little tool. I'll also say that I do like that it came with a cord in the box. I thought that was pretty nice because because these are rechargeable. The little charging port is right below the humidity temperature gauge and it has this charging port, has a little plug you can put in it. I just got this guy off the charger, it's fully charged. I'm curious to see how long it will last. Now in my app, if I did set it to log every minute, it gives me a warning that says, hey, your battery's not gonna last very long. So I set it to every 10 minutes, that warning went away, and I'm curious to see, will this thing last a month without recharging? Will this thing last a year without recharging? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it into action. So my plan over the next month or so is to set up five of these across my room and I'm gonna gauge them. I wanna see how well they actually work. So far, I'm very happy and impressed and I'm glad I have them, which is why, again, I wanna give them out to you. We're gonna get into the details of how to get yours shortly. Now, so far, I haven't had any issues with this. Connecting, I did for a moment, but all I needed to do is there's a little on-off switch here on the back that's underneath the stand. All I needed to do is click it off, click it back on again, push my Wi-Fi button, which is on the side, and everything kind of connected within 60 seconds, I was all set up. I'm excited to set the rest of these up because I do really want to see how they function around my room. I want to use them in my egg boxes. And from what I hear, you can kind of put them anywhere except for in the water. So don't put them in the water, but use them as you need. The other thing that I really like about this is even while it's charging, I can have this thing plugged in and operated, and it still provides continuous readings. That's something that I did look for and I did appreciate in this specific controller here is that it was just easy to use, it was always on, and I can swap them out if I have a few of these. If you are interested in purchasing one of these and you don't want to wait for the giveaway, there is a link to these in the description below. Again, the name of this is the IBS TH Plus Wi-Fi. This guy right here, take a look at it because it's definitely worth a purchase. The name of this controller again is the IBS TH3 Plus Wi-Fi. IBS TH3 Plus Wi-Fi. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them directly from other suppliers. These things are pretty cool. Things that I don't like about this controller, I have to be honest, I haven't found anything just yet. Maybe the only nitpicky thing I could get is that it takes a little bit of time for this thing to adjust to the room and the conditions that it's actually set in. Otherwise, I think it's perfect for what it is. What I wanted was an external temperature humidity controller that was not a thermostat its own, and this thing gave me exactly what I wanted. If you get it from their website, I believe it's $29.99, and they are doing some special coming up that will give you some discount on top of that. If if you get it from Amazon currently when I make this video, it's about $36.99. I'm assuming because they include shipping with Amazon and there's some type of a secondary handling fee. Now with all of this said, if you guys want to get in on this giveaway where I'm going to be giving five of these away, first you need to follow my Instagram and drop a comment below in this YouTube video. Tell me, have you used Inkbird products in the past? How could you put this piece of equipment into use in your setup and why you enjoy this YouTube channel. So I need those three things from you guys. And then I also need you to drop your Instagram handle. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna announce the winners on my Instagram page. You need to follow my Instagram page and that's how you're gonna figure out if you're a winner. There are all kinds of scammers out there and please do not respond to people reaching out to you. I am gonna post the names of the handles on my Instagram page and I need you guys to reach out to me once you've seen it. If your Instagram handle matches the name picked, then I'm gonna ship you one of these controllers free of charge for you to try out yourself. I'm also gonna be making a follow-up video to this about a month to two months from now to give you my full thoughts on these guys. I can't really see me not liking them because of the purpose of what they are. They do exactly what I want them to do, and so far, the temperatures and humidity seem to be pretty accurate. I am sweating in here, and 88 degrees at 63% humidity is probably spot on. I do think humidity's a little bit higher because I've been waving this thing around in the air, and when I actually let it sit on a shelf, it's gonna be perfect and it's gonna give me my readings. I'm gonna keep them on my racks, I'm gonna put some in my egg boxes, and I'm gonna let you guys know in a couple months what they did for me and how I can use them elsewhere. So if you want to drop a comment below, that'll enter you to win one of these guys. Again, you do have to follow my Instagram if you want to see if you're a winner, so go check that out. My Instagram is Jason's Exotic Reptiles. My website, www.jasonsexotic.com.
it's exoticreptiles.com, and my Patreon is patreon.com slash Jason's Exotic Reptiles. If you're interested in these, drop a comment. Can't wait to see the comments myself. And until next video, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing.